everyone! Welcome back and welcome to a long delayed favorites video. I realize I have not posted a favorites video since like my favorites of 2014, which is kind of a long time to not post a favorites video, but that is for a couple reasons. One is that part of my new year philosophy, if you can really call it that, is to clear out products that I have before purchasing new ones. And I'm really trying to do a good job at that. Birchbox has actually really helped me with that because then I can feel like I'm accumulating things, but I'm not buying full sizes of things. So that's been good. <laughs> but the other thing is that I'm just trying to not try new things unless I just really need a replacement for something that isn't working. So I haven't tried a whole lot of new things to share with you. So it's been taking me a little bit to accumulate enough to make a favorites video even happen. But the other thing is I think I'm just going to switch favorites to a quarterly thing. So this is January through March and then I'm just going to do one every three months because that kind of frees up my schedule to do more videos for you that aren't favorites videos. I've been looking at my past videos that I've made and like every other video is a favorites video because I just don't make videos often enough to... I don't make videos often enough. So then you're just getting a ton of favorites videos and nothing else and I would just like that to change. So I think by making favorites videos every three months instead of every single month that might help. And that was a really long introduction and I apologize, but that is my explanation for why it has taken me so long to put this up. And now we should just get right to it. So here we go. First up is this bad boy, which you have probably seen on many other beauty channels already, but it is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Spray and Set Makeup Extender Setting Spray. And guys, Oh, I love this so freaking much. It is a total dupe for the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which has been my godsend product for years, and I'm so excited that something finally has come out that is cheaper, that works the same. The only disadvantage is that it doesn't quite last as long as the Urban Decay one. For whatever reason, I've been able to make the Urban Decay bottles last me like six months, where this only really lasts about three or four-ish. But that's okay, because it's $12 instead of $24. It's half the price, so I'm kind of willing to buy it a little more often in order to avoid that. And if you get coupons, then it's even cheaper, and it's so good. It's so good. Thank you, L'Oreal. Ugh, I can't say enough good things about it. Just go and get it. The next product is one that I honestly never thought that I would be showing you in a favorites video. It is this, which is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium to Deep Matte Bronzer. And this is not something I purchased recently. This has been in my drawer for a year at least. If you watched, oh man, when was this? It was a favorites video a while ago and I had gotten this box at Ulta that was like the summer box with all these like samples in it that they put at the register to make you buy $30 more than you should be buying. And I gave into that. And this bronzer was in it. And I looked at it initially and I'm like, ooh, that's dark. No way for pale face here. Um, I just, I didn't think that it was going to happen. And especially at that time I was doing my makeup a little differently and I was using bronzer more as like an all over like flush instead of contouring. And now I'm into contouring and this guy for contouring is a great contouring shade for me. It is like a perfect contouring shade for me because it isn't too orange and it isn't too dark because I've run into too dark products recently as well. This is like a perfect contouring shade just for the hollows of my cheeks, for my jawline, for right on my hairline and edges of my nose. Just a little light feather of this and it gets the job done. Plus, it's called the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer for a reason. It smells like chocolate and I am down with my face smelling like chocolate, 100%. Next up are a couple of brow products, which if you've been watching me at all, you will know that I am just on the hunt for the perfect brow product, and I think I'm pretty close here. This guy is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Sculptor, and it is an eyebrow pencil and a finishing wax. So what this is, I saw this on TV, and thought that it might be a good idea. It's got the eyebrow pencil on one side. On that same side with the cap, it's got a spoolie brush type thing to brush the hairs in place. And then it has a finishing wax on this side to set the brows in place. I'm not gonna lie, the finishing wax side, little bit worthless for me because the wax wears down 
really quickly. So like I do one brow and then I have to sharpen it to do the other brow. So I'm not really down with that. I end up just using a clear mascara to set my brows, but the brush and this in particular, the actual brow filler, really good for a pencil in terms of the shade. I have it in my brows today and as a not natural blonde, <laughs> finding a brow shade that works for me is so hard because I don't want something necessarily that matches my actual brow hairs, but it has to match well enough, but it can't be too light, but it can't be too dark because my hair is blonde and it's really difficult. I didn't know that finding brow products for blondes <laughs> It's not easy. So this has been a really good thing in terms of the color for me. The only thing that could make it better is if it was a brow gel on this end instead of a wax. Other than that, it's phenomenal. The other brow product that I have been working with is this one, which is kind of a cone shape, and it is the CoverGirl Brow Liner Powder. And this is a weird thing. I saw Ingrid, Miss Glamorazzi, use it first, and you open this up, and it's just this stick. Like, I don't know, when I first looked at it, I was like, how does this work at all? But if I draw it, sorry, filmed another video earlier and I've got swatches on my hand, but it creates a really defined line. Like, crazy. And it's a little darker than I would normally go, but because it's so easy to work with, if I want to have a really bold brow day, this is what I go for because it is... Like I said, really easy to work with. You just kind of go boop, 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 and smudge it a little bit, and it just is golden. And because it's a powder, you can use it for eyeliner too. And I'm down with products that have two-in-one uses, so this is pretty darn great. Like I said, it's a slightly too bold and dark for a normal brow day for me, but if I'm gonna go bold, that would be good. And if you have a different hair color and you can go a little darker, it would be especially good. So I'm down with this. It's a very unique product to the brow industry, and I'm a fan. And last but not least for beauty products are a few lip products, because if you know me at all, you know that I am a lip product junkie. I have way too many, and they're always in my favorites. First up is a lip liner pencil, which is by ColourPop. If you don't know about ColourPop, I really should make like a whole ColourPop brand focus video. I love them as a brand. Everything is five dollars, and so you can test things pretty risk-free, and there's a really conscientious company, and their really awesome packaging is great. This is the ColourPop lip pencil in lippy pencil, I'm sorry, in skimpy. And this, I've worn it down a lot, but it is a nude pencil, and it looks like that. I like this as a kind of my lips but better product. It is really great as an everyday thing, and I never would have thought that I would be using a lip pencil as an everyday lip product, but it's like a caramely pinky version of my natural lip color, which I absolutely adore, and it just makes my lips look really like soft and luxurious, which you can't pay enough for that look, and it's five bucks, so I'm down with everything about this. The formula is great. I love everything about it. The lippy pencils, all of them that I've tried are great. I just love this color so, so much. Next is a product that I discussed before from my Birchbox video, but it is this little sample guy. It is the Cynthia Rally Creamy Lip Stain in Sugar. I like layering this on top of that lip pencil, quite honestly. It is a beautiful complement to it. This is it next to the lip stain, or what am I talking about? This is the lip stain next to the lip pencil on my hand in a swatch. But this is just so creamy and wonderful and moisturizing and you can watch my Birch Box video for more on this but I'm just obsessed with this and I need to buy the full size and I need to buy it in every single color because I love it just that much. Last but not least for both lip products and my beauty products are these guys, which are the NYX Butter Lip Balms. And if you, again, watch my videos for any length of time, you will know that any NYX Butter Lip product I am down with. I have the Butter Lipsticks, I have way too many of the Butter Lip Glosses, and now they have Butter Lip Balms. And I am so down with tinted lip balms, first off. They are my favorite things in the world because you can just keep them in your purse, and if you need a little touch-up, go boom, 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 and then you're well on your way. I got them in two colors to start off, and I got them in this pink, which, as you can see, has quite a nice little flush, and then I got this in the nude color, which, again, I've got swatches all over my hand now. The nude color is this one. This layers, again, nicely over that lip pencil, but 
both of these are really good standard colors for me to keep in my bag all the time. I want them in all of the colors, really. But again, try not to buy too many products, so I figured I'd start with two and go from there. But I love these so much. You guys just have to try all of the NYX Butterlip products because they are such good products for such affordable prices. I think these are in the $4 range. So, so amazing, so affordable, so wonderful. I really don't have any fashion favorites this month, but I do have some lifestyle favorites starting with a mug because it would not be a favorites video without me showing you a mug. I swear I have a mug in every single video. I'm obsessed with mugs. But this was my Valentine's Day gift to myself. I'm absolutely crazy about it. It is a mug from Crate and Barrel for Valentine's Day that says I love you a latte. And this phrasing has been very popular recently. Este from SD Button. She's been wearing shirts that say it and there's stationery that says it and a bunch of people have mugs that say it. But I like this mug in particular just because I liked the stark red and white. I loved the font of it. I just love, love, love it so much. It's so great and brilliant and I'm obsessed. And it's a good size mug too. I'm pretty sure this is a 16 ounce mug. So I'm down with that because then all of the coffee can be in my body. And <laughs> basically it's just really cute and adorable and I love it. Next up is a TV show and that is Agent Carter. Guys, I don't know if you guys watched Agent Carter this season. The season is already over. But that probably means you can find the whole thing on the internet somewhere, and you should, because it is so, so good. It is based on Peggy Carter from Captain America. She's Captain America's love interest, and this whole series is based on her post-World War II, so her job and going back to a normal job and not really being a war hero anymore and not being treated fairly because she's a woman and she's the only woman in the SSR, and she is just amazing. Haley Atwell is my love. Peggy Carter is my feminist hero. I'm obsessed with her. And just the season was so good. They brought back everybody. Howard Stark was in the series. Jarvis, like the man Jarvis, not the computer Jarvis, is in the series. And it's so wonderful and I'm loving it so much and if they do not renew it for a second season I'm going to punch somebody square in the face because it is so so good and you should be on it hard just yep just watch it you won't regret it so my last favorite is one that I'm so excited to share with you you don't even have any idea and it isn't anything related to beauty or fashion or things like that but it is a big part of my life so I wanted to share it with you if you follow me on Instagram and other places, you might know that my beloved cat Mingus, uh, we had to put him down in November, which was really, really upsetting. We've had him for only six years. He was young and he just had health problems that couldn't be overcome and we had to put him down. And that was really heartbreaking because if you've ever had a pet, you know that losing a pet is awful. But we've always had Persian cats and if you have a cat or a dog or anything, you just know that when they're gone, you just want one in your life again because it's a heartbeat in the house that's just not there. And so we searched long and far and wide to get a new kitten. <laughs> and so we have a kitten now. We got him at the end of January and his name is Smudge and he is the absolute best thing ever. Mingus was a cat with a personality that was hard to even compare to, but Smudge has been such a wonderful successor, I guess. He has a huge personality too. You might be able to hear him actually right now. He's getting into something, but he is amazing. He loves to play. He loves to snuggle. He is the biggest purr box I've ever heard and I'm gonna get him for you right now so you can meet him. This is Smudgy. Can you say hi Smudge? Say hello. He's not very good with the camera yet. Whenever he sees this camera he really likes to get the lens <laughs> but he's not very video friendly and he's very floppy so he's not even propping himself up very well. Yeah you're not looking in the right place. <laughs> yep, there you go. Hi, say hello. Uh, but yeah, this is Smudge. He is a black Persian and he is just, oh, hi. Yep, I know. <laughs> he's just the sweetest guy and he's not happy with me right now, but he'll just climb up me and, you know, do his thing. He is a joy when he's not being a booger. Whoop, come here. There we go. And he's amazing and I love him so much. He's beautiful and sweet and he's been my absolute favorite this month. Say hi. Say hi. He's like, 
what are you doing to me? Mwah. It's okay, I know. I'm so sorry I make you do these things. He's gonna leave me now because he wasn't very happy with me picking him up like that. But he really is so sweet and we're gonna get him better at being on camera. He just isn't used to it yet, but he will become less camera shy as he gets older, I'm sure, and you'll be seeing him in future videos. <laughs> so that is it for my favorites for January through March, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. A couple quick announcements. On my blog, there are quite a few updates and fun posts and cool things that you might want to check out there that aren't videos, including I all award season, so like SAG Awards through Oscars, I blogged all of the award shows and made my own little best and worst dress list. So if you like those fashiony things, I would definitely check that out. I I'm obsessed with my work on those <laughs> Like, I, I get really creative and funny when I'm bashing people's bad clothing choices. So I, I thought it was a fun time. And so if you're interested in red carpet fashion, I will leave the link down below to all of those posts. And the other thing, speaking of fashion, is I don't know if, how many of you know about the website Virage Sale, but it is a virtual garage sale where you can buy and sell different things and whatnot. But I am selling quite a few of my clothes on Virage Sale right now because I'm trying to clear out some clutter in my life, get rid of some things that I don't wear anymore, and a lot of it is like new stuff <laughs> that I just, I bought and then it sat in my closet and I never wore it again. So if you want to check out some of my things, I'm gonna leave the link to my little Virage Sale shop and you can check that out and maybe my old things can become treasures of yours. So if if you want to check that out, that'd be great. And other than that, guys, that is all. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! by you. I know I really shouldn't stay. I want to know the way you feel. I want to know the way you taste. I am affected by you. I'm so aware of when you go. But I'm not the one who's gonna save you. I'm just another girl, you know. I should get up and go, I should put on my clothes Gotta keep it quiet cause I think they